Hello everyone. So today we're going to go over to chapter 4 review, starting with example number 1. So in this example, we are to create serial numbers in the following format. Two uppercase letters in a row, so there are 26 choices for each one. Followed by three digits from 0 to 9, so that's 10 different possibilities. And the last character is either A, B, or X, meaning there are three choices. So using the fundamental counting principle, we simply have to multiply these numbers together to get the total number of possible serial numbers. And the result is 2,028,000 possible serial numbers. Example number two. So we are to draw a single card that's either a spade or a diamond from a standard deck of 52 cards. We know that there are 13 spades and there are 13 diamonds. So there are simply 26 possibilities. Let's move on to example number three. So here we are using the factorial notation First question we have is to simplify this expression. Notice that n plus 10 is 1 greater than n plus 9. So this simplifies to just n plus 10 factorial. Next we have an equation involving factorials. We are going to expand the larger of the two factorials, so n plus 2 factorial. So we have n plus 2 times n plus 1 times n factorial all over n factorial. From there, the two n factorials will eliminate each other. So we are left with simply n plus 2 times n plus 1 is equal to 42. So we're looking for two numbers with a difference of 1 that have a product of 42. So those two numbers are going to be 7 and 6, meaning that n plus 2 is equal to 7 and n plus 1 is equal to 6, which means that n is equal to 5. Note that we are not going to consider the negative numbers because we know that n factorial is part of the expression and therefore n needs to be greater than or equal to zero. Example number four. So there are five cars to be parked, blue, white, red, and then two black cars. Simply then, this is just going to be 5 factorial, which is equal to 120, so 120 ways. This is assuming that all 5 cars are different. However, if the two black cars are actually identical, then we have 5 factorial divided by 2 factorial, which is equal to 60 ways.
and that is the difference between whether all five objects are distinguishable or if there are repeats. In example 4b, now we're looking at a specific way of parking the cars. The two black cars are next to each other. So again, if they are different, then there are two factorial ways of arranging the two cars. Now, then we'll have a blue car, a white car, a red car, and then the two black cars that are next to each other can be now treated as a single object since we already consider their permutations. That means we have to permutate four different objects here. Meaning that the total number of ways to park the cars will be two factorial times four factorial, which is two times 24, which is 48. However, if the two black cars are identical, then we simply have a blue car, a white car, a red car, and then the two black cars together, which means we have four factorial ways of arranging them. Okay, let's move on to the next example. Example number five. So here we're looking for the total number of arrangements uh, for the letters in the word teeth. So we know there are five letters and there are two E's and two T's. So now we can simplify. We know that 5 factorial is equal to 120. 2 factorial is simply 2. So we have 2 times 2 in the denominator. So this is going to be 120 divided by 4, which means there are 30 arrangements of the letters. Okay, next we have example number six, which is one involving combination. So David and Susan belong to a math club. There are six junior students and eight senior students in the club. And we're trying to form a five person committee that could be selected from, from the 14 club members under each conditions, um, sorry, each condition. So first case, we have to have two juniors and three seniors. So we have six choose two times eight choose three. Now six choose two is 15, eight choose three is 56. So that would be 840 ways. So that's a question involving both combination and also the fundamental counting principle. Uh, next we have uh, an additional idea. So 6b also involves cases. So at least two junior means there are um, two juniors, three juniors, and, and so forth. So let's write out all the cases. So the first case is there are two junior members. 
and then three senior members. Or there could be three junior members and two senior members. Or there could be four junior members and one senior member. And finally, the last case is just going to be if the club is all juniors. So that will be six choose five and then eight choose zero. So we already know the first answer that's going to be 840 from part A. Uh, six choose three times eight choose two is 560. Next we have 120. And there are just six ways where all the committee members are juniors. So once we add these four numbers together, we will get that there are 1,526 different subcommittees that are possible. Okay, uh, part C. So this is a little bit different. If David and Susan must be on the committee, then there are only 12 spots left. So this will be simply 12 choose three for the remaining three spots. And that will be 220 ways. And finally, there's another uh, part that's cases as well, more seniors and juniors. So we can either have two juniors and three seniors. That's one possibility. Or we can have one junior and four seniors. And finally, we can have five seniors. So each one will be, so this is 840. Second number is half that. And then we have 56 for the last case here. And the sum total of the three different cases will be 1,316 ways. Okay, so a quick additional question, a pathway question here on the right. We're looking for the number of ways to go from point A to point B, only moving to the right or down. So this could be broken down into two parts. The first part is where we go from A to, let's say, this point here is C. So notice that we always go right, 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 so right three times and down two times. And then the second part where we go from C to B, we al always go right twice and down twice in some order. So the first part here will be five steps, so five factorial, three of which are to the right and two of which are down. And then we can evaluate, this will simply give us 10. And then in the second part, so you're just going to go ahead and change colors here. There are four steps. There's two to the right and two down. And that's going to be six different ways. So the total number of ways to go from point A to point B is simply going to be 10 times 6, which is 60 ways.
Okay, so we looked at questions from using the fundamental counting principle in example number one, and then the factorial notation in example number three, permutations of different objects and also identical objects in both examples four and five, and some combinations, uh, sorry, some combination questions in example number six. We also looked at additional pathway questions, and that is all we have for today. So once again, thank you for listening.